Hey! How are things going for everyone? It's been a long time since I've appeared on this channel. I hope you're all doing well. I came here to discuss about nanotank filtration. There are several videos and resources available on various types of filtration. Mechanical, biological, canister, internal, hang on back, sumps, and whatnot. The information presented here is limited to nanotank filters and breeding safe aquarium filters. It's more of a hands-on experience than a lesson on filtration mechanisms. Sponge filters are simple to set up and clean, and they're safe for fish fry and shrimp. Sponge filters are used for both mechanical and biological filtering. Gravel and substrate can also provide biological filtration, such as bacterial nitrification. Canister filters have a large container for mechanical and biological media, however in our situation, canister filters are an unnecessary burden due to the rapid flow and modest need for purification. Bottom filters or UGF boxes can be used in the same way as canister filters. This was our first sort of filter 31 years ago, and Aquarius have lately begun to use it again. They are driven by an external air pump, which means that a single strong pump may run up to 8 or 10 filters. They also offer ample area for a variety of media. You can use floss, gravel, biomedia, and in our case, Akadama soil or any other soil that helps us lower the pH level. Unlike sponge filters, these filters allow you to add pads for various uses. When necessary, activated carbon pads can be employed to clean the water. Phosphate pads may be used to decrease phosphate levels, and ammonia pads can be used to lower ammonia levels. Please only use these types of media for a short period of time and do not keep them in your filter for an extended period. Internal power pump filtration can be employed in nano tanks that require a moderate to high amount of water flow. They provide a decent quantity of water flow for planted nano tanks since they are driven by a built-in propeller. They also include a flow regulator, however it clogs quickly and needs to be cleaned on a regular basis. The filter media compartment is a little snug, therefore it's preferable to use sponge that's been trimmed to fit. However, if correctly placed, filter floss may be used, and particular types of pads can be added to filter out ammonia and other undesired substances from the water. It is recommended to use suitable sponges to avoid sucking up fish fry and shrimplets due to their great suction potential. We install a DIY sump filter in the same tank, which is driven by a small internal pump. Filtration is divided into numerous sections in the sump, beginning with sponge filtration and progressing to biomedia and soil filtration. The water from the sump is returned to the tank while also watering the terrestrial area.
The flow from the hob filter, on the other hand, might be a nuisance to shrimp and other fish in some situations. In nano tanks, hob hang on back filtration is also effective. They are available in a variety of sizes, and depending on the size, they give enough space for mechanical and biological media. If you're using it in a breeding tank or with shrimps, a sponge or net should be placed on the intake to prevent any fish fry or shrimplets from being sucked up and to enhance the surface area for filtration. A small internal air pump driven filter is included in the hob concept. When moving or quarantining fish, even in micro tanks, this is a nice idea filter. Although it has a modest suction power and a limited media type, it is an option to use this filter. Nonetheless, a sponge filter performs significantly better.
Protein skimmers or surface skimmers filters of this type might be internal or external. We only have internal ones, which are utilized in nano tanks where protein skimming from the surface is required. Because the water goes straight through the pad with a high suction flow rate, you may put a sponge, phosphate, or charcoal pad inside and get results faster than any other method of filtration explained in this video. Finale, this filter is similar to a hob in principle. It should never be used. It's pricey, tough to keep in place, maintain, and power up. And, that was it for today. Hope you enjoyed the content. Please don't forget to, like, share and subscribe. Let us know in the comment what you'd like to see on our future episodes. Goodbye. Au revoir. Enjoy.